Welcome back to Breaking News. News keeps happening and we keep bringing it to you. But before we get to our story, make sure you're subscribed to Breaking News and hit the bell icon so you'll know when we post a new video. Also, after watching, join in the conversation below in the comment section. Now, here's your news. Sunak to extend freeze on hated 55 PC pension tax for two more years Prime Minister Rishi Sunak and Chancellor Jeremy Hunt will hit pension savers even harder in the autumn statement on November 17th. They look set to extend a hated pensions tax that forces around 2 millions to hand over a staggering 55% of their retirement savings to HM Revenue and Customs. Now it will become even more costly as it becomes a treasury target once again. Sunak and Hunt are desperately searching for ways to save money and shrink the 50 billion pound black hole in our nation's finances. Hunt will set out their measures in his upcoming full autumn statement and taxpayers should brace themselves for brutal assault. Options include suspending the state pension triple lock for the second time, extending the freeze on income tax thresholds, or increasing capital gains tax and dividend tax. Now it seems that our workplace and personal pension savings are being dragged into the firing line as well. Sunak is set to mastermind get another stealth tax raid on our retirement savings. He is calculating that it will cause little protest because it is targeted at the better off. Yes, those who pay will be hit hard. The Pensions Lifetime Allowance, or LTA, caps the maximum you can save across all your company and personal pension schemes during your lifetime at an arbitrary level. More than 1.6 million had already been caught by 2016 and the number will rise every year because Sunak froze the level at which it kicks in as one of the stealth taxes announced in his budget last March when Chancellor. Now he and Hunt are coming back for more and the number of savers who fall victim could soon race past 2 million. Under the LTA, those whose total pension pots exceed an arbitrary sum pay an incredible 55% tax on the excess to HM revenue and customs. The lifetime allowance stood at a whopping £1.8 million a decade ago, so only the very rich had to worry about it. It has been repeatedly slashed to today's level of £1,073,100. Then last year, Sunak then froze it at that level until at least the 2025-26 tax year. Now he looks set to extend that freeze for another two years, according to a report in the Daily Telegraph. Andrew Tully, technical director at Canada Life, said constant tinkering with the lifetime allowance means it is no longer something that only the wealthy need worry about. As the allowance has been slashed repeatedly and now frozen, more will get caught through the process of fiscal drag. This happens where inflation increases the value of incomes, savings, and other assets, but the thresholds at which we pay tax on them stay the same. More and more are being dragged into HMRC's net every year, and this will worsen if Sunak and Hunt target the LTA again on November 17th. Tully said the LTA is so complex that it is almost impossible to understand. Planning your pensions to minimize your exposure is too complicated, because a sudden surge in the stock market could tip you over the allowance unexpectedly, triggering that 55% charge. It's a nightmare to navigate and puts people off saving, Tully said. Many NHS doctors have been caught out, with some deciding to retire early rather than pay this punitive tax, hitting staffing levels. Other victims include those who have built up a large pot of company and workplace retirement savings. The lifetime allowance punishes savers who have done the right thing and built large sums for their retirement. Some could pay £165,000 to HMRC as a result of the original LTA freeze. Extending the freeze for another two years, until the end of the 2027-28 tax year, will only draw out the agony. While ordinary pension savers will be nowhere near the LTA and may think the better off should pay more, this is a clumsy way to do it. The pension's lifetime allowance is badly planned and needs reform. There are better ways of capping pension savings, for example, by cutting the £40,000 annual allowance limiting how much tax relief savers can claim each year on pension contributions. Instead, the LTA now looks set to carry on for longer in its present confusing state. 